After the recent scandals in Serie Juventus received again the 10 points deduction, this means only one thing that they're probably gonna miss the Champions League next season because they were also knocked out from Sevilla in the UEFA Europa League, which makes it super hard for them actually to qualify. And not only that, but they also lost to Empoli 4-1 in their recent game. So that's why we're gonna come in handy right now, try to rebuild Juventus as fast as possible and hopefully manage to make them again the greatest club in the world. And speaking about winning the Scudetto, probably multiple times and of course the big game is going to be for us to win the champions league so let's just start this rebuild and of course if you enjoyed it leave a like subscribe to the channel you know what to do but now it's time for the juventus rebuild so looking more detailed into this juventus squad there are some key positions we need to upgrade like for example the camp position definitely needing a big upgrade because we don't have anyone that can create a lot of good goal scoring situations so this is probably going to be the first thing that we're going to try to improve and of course the center back i mean bonucci recently signed one year contract but we definitely gonna try to improve the center back position because this is definitely not a Juventus are known with to have a weak defense like come on how can you concede four goals versus Empoli man like no disrespect to Empoli but come on luckily the boards are giving us 155 million to spend man this is a huge amount of money I really don't know what the board did to actually secure us this budget but we're gonna spend it and the first player we're bringing to Juventus is gonna be one of their former players of course I'm speaking about Matthias De Ligt. He never should have left Juventus, man. We need to pay 77 million right now to Bayern for him, but I do believe that he is the future of this club and he can definitely strong our defense. And the next player we're bringing to Juventus is gonna be Kudus from Ajax. We need to pay 33 million, but he has so much potential to actually be one of the best camps in the world. So Kudus, welcome to Juventus. And now with an addition of Matthias De Ligt and Kudus, this is how the lineup is looking. Pretty good, but but we still do have positions we need to upgrade, man. And I do believe that Di Maria, he can be a perfect backup of our new right winger, but he cannot start for us, man. He's getting older and older and he's, of course, gonna decrease in the rating. So that's why we do have 51 million to actually spend and I'm gonna actually invest them in a new right winger for this club. And hopefully the final piece of the puzzle is gonna be this man, Neymar Jr. We managed to convince him to join Juventus because he was not happy at, at PSG. So that's why we gave him another chance to actually shine in another country. And this, of course, Italia. So I really hope that Neymar Jr. is gonna perform on a top level for Juventus. And now basically this is gonna be the lineup that we're gonna use for the first season with Juve. I really hope that we can actually manage to win Serie A already in the first try. We just need to take into consideration this 10 points deduction by the end of the season so let's see how we're actually gonna play in the first game of Serie A and see if this team is actually capable of achieving something great already in the first season opening game of Serie A is gonna be versus Torino and I'm super excited to see how Neymar and Chiesa are gonna play on the both wings with Vlahovic in the middle of the park and of course Kudus behind him man what a nice team we created Chiesa here what a nice cross Vlahovic oh imagine if he scored that and now he goes in injured after this strike come on man for a nice interception give it to vlahovic he missed that too wow what's happening with vlahovic man oh pogba now come on lucatelli give it to neymar zito come on neymar zito come on neymar zito neymar again another save from their goalkeeper man we could have actually lead already three or four zero on the league show me why i bought you bro show me why i bought you the league no no man how they managed to score bro what happened with our defenders here really bad defending from us and they're taking early the lead versus us we could have actually already lead by three goals but we missed all of their chance they had just one chance and of course scored it of course oh really good one here kudos one ball roll come on kudos come on kudos that's why we bought you amazing goal for the youngster come on one one we're back into the game come on guys we need to score more here come on Oh, no, man. Oh, no, man. Nice Wojciech Chesney. Man, what's happening with our defense? I really thought that the defense will be a good thing, but so far it is not looking like that. Kudos now. Come on. Come on, Neymar. Come on, Neymar. We paid so much money for you, bro. You need to deliver every single game. Kudos. Kudos. Is Kudos actually the hidden gem into this team? To Paul Pogba. Good try, though. Are we going to drop points versus Torino? This is now the question, I do believe. I really hope that we can still win the game, but... We need some miracles here. Come on, Neymar Zito. Come on, Neymar Zito. Come on, Neymar Zito. You do have everything. Kudos! There you go. There you go. What a debut. What a debut from the Ajax boy, man. 
Neymar didn't score this game, but he assisted for potentially the game winner. Come on! 2-1 for us versus Torino. Nice comeback. And we didn't need it to wait that long for Neymar to score. Oh, Neymar here. Neymar Zito! There you go. There you go. First go for the club. Come on, Neymar. <laughs> Let's go, man. I really hope that he can actually bring us to the next level and hopefully to the Champions League trophy by the end of the season one or potentially season two. Come on. Only one game remaining versus Roma. We do have 10 points advance to the second Milan. So basically, if we win versus Roma, we should actually be done and dust and win actually the Serie A with the 10 points deduction. But before that, let's just check how are we doing in, so in the other competition and also how the players are developing. In the Champions League, we managed to finish second into our group, which was probably expected. Like, come on, uh, Paris Saint-Germain for sure better than us. And that means that in the round of six, we needed to actually eliminate Liverpool to go further. And we managed to do that. But look at also Manchester City, man. They lost to Olympique Marseille. This is crazy. And then in the quarterfinals, we eliminated a very, very lucky Leipzig on penalties. 4-3 on penalties. Pretty good result. And then in the semis, we eliminate Olympique Marseille. So this could have been actually Manchester City. And that means only one thing, that we're in the final of the Champions League. And we're going to face actually Atletico Madrid. So either team is going to leave their first Champions League. I really hope it's going to be us. But before that, let's see what's happening with the players. And then let's first secure the Serie A. Sadly, we're also not competing for the treble guys because we managed to lose in the semi-finals of the Coppa de Italia from AC Milan they beat us 5-3 on aggregate pretty good result for them to be honest with you but the team and the team is looking amazing look how good everyone is developing we need to upgrade the fullbacks in the next season because Quadrado is definitely going down and also Alexander is not progressing that much but other than these two positions we are sensational. Top goal scorer is actually Dusan Vlahovic with 28 goals and 6 assists. Very good performance from him. He grew to 88 overall. Then is Neymar Zito with currently 91 overall, 27 goals, 15 assists. A really good performance from Neymar, to be honest with you. Then is Kudos, 16 goals and 11 assists. Pretty good performance. He grew to 83 plus 5. And then is Federico Chiesa. Only one. Proof, which is not that typical in my opinion. 14 goals, 4 assists. Pretty good, pretty average performance, to be honest with you. Di Maria, 13 goals, 9 assists for of the age of 35. Pretty good performance, to be honest with you. Sadly, we are going to lose probably Lucatelli by the beginning of the season because he's currently on loan at our club and we don't have the budget right now to buy him. But maybe by the start of the next season, we can actually secure his service. So let's quick sim actually the game versus AC Roma and see if we're actually going to be able to leave the Serie A. We need a huge result here and... Oh, no, we drew. But this was actually enough for us to secure the Serie A because Milan lost their last game and that means only one thing that we do have 11 points advantage to them so Serie A title in the back but now now is the big game the Champions League final versus Atletico Madrid I really hope we can actually beat them and lift our first Champions League trophy so come on Neymar Zito lead us to great things come on this is the biggest game of this Juventus rebuild so far I really hope that we can actually manage to win the Champions League but versus Atletico it's gonna be difficult oh they do have Kante Ooh. What a nice signing for Atletico, to be honest with you. Oh, give it to Paul Pogba. Paul Pogba actually managed to remain healthy during the whole season. This is a huge achievement from him. Oh, nice ball from Paul Pogba. To Pogba. No, to Pogba, man. To Paul Pogba. Come on, Pogba. Let's go. Let's go, man. Paul Pogba, when he's healthy, he's unstoppable. 1-0 for us versus Atletico Madrid. Come on, we're taking very early the lead versus them i really hope we can continue on that way but you never need to underestimate atletico madrid nice pass from actually chiesa and here ooh, through his legs nice Ooh, nice man wojciech chesny he's so good wow what a nice save from him he saved us also in the serie i do believe but here it was a very good save what a ball what a ball now give it to neymar zito come on neymar come on neymar come on neymar Okay, not that bad. Neymar to Pogba. Oh, imagine if Paul Pogba could have managed to score his second goal for the game. Oh, this looks dangerous now. Antoine Griezmann with the player difficulty on. Come on, Bremer. Oh, I really hope it's not going to be a red card. I really, really hope it's not going to be a red card. Come on, referee. Give us at least only a yellow, please. Please, please, please be a yellow. And it is a yellow. Okay, good. Good, good, good. We survived here. 
Federico Chiesa here with some space, but there is no one to pass the ball. Kudus now, and look at here the ball to Lukatelli. To Vlahovic, let's go, let's go. What a nice counter-attack, 2-0 just before the halftime. Really hope you enjoy so far this Juventus rebuild, of course. If so, leave a like, subscribe to the channel. You know what to do and tell me which team should I rebuild next. But now, come on, 45 minutes away from us actually winning the Champions League. And the parties can actually begin because we are gonna lift our first Champions League trophy. But the next season we are going for this treble, man. I really want to finish this rebuild with a treble. So come on, Quadrado, lift this beautiful, beautiful trophy. Let's go, let's go, man. Let's go to the second season right now and hopefully manage to upgrade the team even more than right now. Beginning of the second season and the board are giving us 272 million to spend in this second season wow honestly wow i did not expect that from them but look at also the squad man we're definitely gonna improve the two fullbacks position and maybe bring lucatelli back but other than that i don't see any improvements needed to be honest with you like the Ligt and bremer are really good chesney really is really good like in the midfield paul pogba if we add lucatelli right now kudus is also developing pretty good chiesa neymar vlahovic are also unreal maybe we can try to improve the depth of the squad but do we actually need to we do have fagioli we do have Kyle George or Johork. We do have Zakaria who is coming back from the loan spell. We do have Di Maria still. And we do have some amazing players, man. Like even Miretti is here. So maybe, maybe this is going to be the three positions we try to improve. Like bring back Lucatelli and two fullbacks. So let's just do that. And Lucatelli is actually the first player to bring him back to Juventus. I'm super excited to have him because he had a sensational first season with us. So I'm pretty happy to actually bring him back. We need to pay 80 million for him but he is definitely worth it. And we also managed to secure the services of the best left back in the world, Tio Hernandez. And not only we managed to actually improve our squad, but we also weak our biggest rival for the Serie A title, of course, AC Milan. So Tio Hernandez, Welcome to Juve. With these two signs, we do have 73 million to spend, which is again a huge amount of money and probably we need to go for a right back, but I do believe that the new can actually do a really good job as a right back so maybe we're not gonna change anything if something is not working that good maybe we can improve something in january but i do believe that this team is actually capable of winning everything this season i'm speaking about Serie A, Champions League, and of course, Coppa de Italia, the treble. So let's see how we're gonna do by the end of the season two with Juve. We're currently in December and look at the nominations for the player of the year. Three Juventus player, Chiesa, Vlahovic, and Neymar, and of course, Mbappe. So let's figure out who is now gonna win it. And hopefully it's gonna be one of our boys. And it is one of our boys. Neymar lift actually his first Bowen door. Wow, honestly, amazing achievement for him. Let's hopefully now we manage to complete the treble. With two games remaining, we do have 14 points advantage to the second Inter. It is looking pretty good in Serie A. We already won it, but let's now check where we're standing in the Coppa Italia and of course in the Champions League. This is the most important thing. In the meantime, of course, we managed to win also the Super Cup in Italy. We managed to beat Milan 2-0. Pretty good result, but now in the Coppa Italia, it's looking really, really interesting. So in the round of 16, we managed to eliminate Atalanta Bergen. 3-2 on a pretty tough game to be honest with you. Then in the quarterfinals we need to beat Udine to actually go to the semifinals. Then in the semifinals we eliminated Inter which means only one thing. We're in the final and Napoli is standing of our way to actually make the double win the Serie A and of course the Coppa Italia. But also in the Champions League, man, we're in the final of the Champions League. We're gonna face Liverpool in the final. It's looking pretty good in my opinion. We can definitely beat Liverpool, but we need to eliminate Barca in the semi-final. Look at it, 4-3 on aggregate. Then we in the quarterfinals, we need to eliminate Paris Saint-Germain. We managed to eliminate them 2-1 on aggregate. So Kylian Mbappe was again not enough to actually secure the Champions League for PSG. And of course, here, look at our round, man. Like, Real Madrid, PSG, Barca, now Liverpool. What a tough round to actually win the Champions League, hopefully. We managed to eliminate Real Madrid here in the round of 16. And our group was a little bit easy, to be honest. To like, Leverkusen, Galtzer and Rangers, no disrespect to any of these teams, but they're just not that good as us. So let me show you how the team is developing and of course who is the top goal scorer. What I'm seeing right now is definitely not good because Wojciech Chesney is injured and he's gonna miss the final of Coppa d'Italia and the final of the Champions League. So we need to rely on Perin. 
But other than that, the team is developing pretty, pretty good, man. And of course, the top goal scorer is none other than Vlahovic with 35 goals and 6 assists. Maybe he's gonna win the Ballon d'Or next year if we manage, of course, to do the back-to-back -back actually winning the Serie A and, of course, the Champions League. Look at Neymar Zito, man. 27 goals, 13 assists. Pretty good performance. Chiesa, 27 goals, 10 assists. Wow. Pogba, man. 12 goals, 7 assists. Look at also this man, Kyle George. We gave him on loan uh, at Inter and he managed to score 11 goals and 10 assists. This is pretty good performance. Kudos. Only 6 goals and 10 assists. Not the great performance, but look at Tio Hernandez, man. 8 goals. Five assists, he grew to 91 in the first season as a Juventus player. Amazing performance, so let's just jump into the game versus Napoli and hopefully manage to complete the double. I do believe that this is gonna be a tough game, to be honest with you, versus Napoli, but come on, we do have the better squad, man. We do have one of the best squads right now in the in the world, basically, like with Tio Hernandez, especially in the back line, with also Matthias De Ligt, Bremer, so good. The only chance for Napoli is because Wojciech Chesney is injured, but I don't believe that this is going to be that much problematic for us. Oh, give it to Kudus. Oh, Kudus here. Completely wide open. Kudus. Let's give it to Vlahovic. Bye-bye. Come on. Come on. It's going to be walking the park, guys. I'm telling you that. Vlahovic and Kudus. Amazing connection. We're already taking the lead versus Napoli. Beautiful counter-attack here. If Vlahovic didn't manage to score that, this could have been a penalty 100%, but we're taking early the lead versus Napoli. Come on, we need to score more, though. Oh, they do have Danjuma. Very interesting purchase for Napoli. So they get rid of, actually, Victor Osimen. No, Napoli, really? To be honest with you, it probably was expected. Paul Pogba to Kudos. Kudos! 2-0. 2-0 already after 25 minutes. Well, wow. Kudos is honestly super good, man. Like, if you are struggling finding a good cam and don't that expensive cam for your career mode saves, definitely try Kudos. Highly recommend it to you. Oh, oh, they do have still Kvarachkele, yeah? So maybe this is a good thing for them. Oh, Danjuma brings one back. Oh, 2-1 right now. Okay, nothing is over yet, guys. Kovic now. Oh, again to Kudos. Come on, come on, man. Oh, this is a penalty. 100% a penalty. Come on, 3-1. Possible. Give it to Neymar Zito. Give, or to Paul Pogba. Yeah, let's give it to Neymar Zito, man. The Bowen door winner. Now we need to wait like 10 seconds until he runs to the ball. Come on, Neymar. Come on, Neymar. Neymar! Let's go. Let's go. 3 1. 3 1 versus Napoli. I do believe now it's time for the celebrations. And the celebrations of us lifting Coppa de Italia can begin, but we're definitely not over with this rebuild of Juventus. There is one more trophy left until we can actually complete the treble and the whole rebuild. I really hope we can actually manage to win versus Liverpool next game, but now, now it's time for a party, guys. I really hope you enjoyed so far this rebuild. Of course, if so, leave a like, subscribe to the channel. You know what to do, but now... Let's jump into the game versus Liverpool. The game for the history books. Us versus Liverpool in the Champions League final. Can we complete the treble, guys, versus this Liverpool squad? They still do have Mo Salah and Luis Diaz and Cody Gakpo is there. It's gonna be a tough game, but come on. We are Juventus, man. Paul Pogba now. Paul Pogba now. Give it to Vlahovic. Oh, what a ball. What a ball to Vlahovic. Come on, the future Bowen Door winner. We're striking first versus Liverpool. What a nice begin of this game, man. The assist from Paul Pogba was unreal. Look at it here. No one can stop Vlachwich. Then he turned his body, and of course, he's going to score versus Alisson. Come on. Oh, but now Diaz. Nice, Bremer. Ooh, Bremer. Bremer, what a nice tackle. He, mi he was missed, actually, in the previous final. Or no, he was injured in the final. Oh, but now look at Bremer, man. Look at Bremer, bro. Come on, Bremer. Ah, I think we messed it up. We did. Oh, this is dangerous now. Definitely dangerous. Mo Salah strikes here. Oh, Perrin here couldn't manage to stop that, but I don't believe that even Wojciech Chesney could have stopped that, man. Wow, 1-1. Okay, the game basically starts from the B. It's going to be tough versus Liverpool. This was clear, man, that it's not going to be easy versus them. Nice interception here. And now Vlahovic to Neymar Zito. Come on, Neymar Zito. What a mistake for them. Kudos to Kudos. Come on, Neymar. We were two versus one, man. Even three versus one. How we borrow it? Di Lorenzo now versus Matthias De Ligt. He's out of position. Good one. Bremer, really good tackle here, man. Oof. 
gonna be tough especially when we don't have our main goalkeeper in the behind the goal line come on guys press them press them oh what a mistake what a mistake from them kudos come on come on give it back to kudos one more Lakovic, come on! Neymar Zito, okay, a little bit lucky, but we're taking that all day of the week. Neymar Jr. Come on, 2 1 versus Liverpool. Come on, boys, we're 45 minutes away of actually completing the treble with Juve. Come on, we can do it 100%. Oh no, Mo Salah now. Oh no, 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 don't let them shoot, man. Don't let them shoot, bro. Good one here that Bremer needed to block that. Come on, we need to score the third very fast. What a nice tiki taka style here. This is back of the days when actually Neymar was good. And now Neymar Zito. Come on, Neymar Zito. Neymar! Save that, Alisson. Save that, Alisson. 3-1 versus Liverpool. The Bowen Door winner strikes one more time. The boy for the finals, man. The boy for the finals. 3-1 already versus Liverpool. Come on. Come on. We're getting closer and closer to the treble. No. Wow. Pogba, Pog, what a mistake, man. And Thiago strikes here. Wow. I really did not expect that to even to be a good chance for them. But Paul Pogba here basically assisted for to Thiago to score the second and now the game basically is starting from the beginning because come on just one go versus Liverpool is definitely not a secure thing and with a lot of minutes remaining man come on boys come on don't borrow it please please don't borrow the treble here come on guys we're getting closer and closer guys we're getting closer and closer Neymar to Vlahovic game over game over Nice goal for Vlahovic, and now it's time for the celebration of us winning the treble. Let's jump into it. There it is, the beautiful trophy that we're gonna leave for the second time in this rebuild. And Matthias De Ligt is the key factor of this success, man. He improved the defense so much. Come on, leave the beautiful trophy. I really hope you enjoyed this Juventus rebuild. Of course, if you want to see how I fixed Leeds United, click on the link above my head. But now I'm out, and I wish you a great day. Bye-bye.